Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to our Facebook Live session for today. If you can hear me, please comment our chat box below. Okay, we wait for a moment. We get more people to come in first. Okay, huh? hope you guys can hear me well. Huh? All right. So, hello everyone. My name is uh, Nurul Nabila Binti Ismail. And I'm the audiologist from 20DB Hearing, based at PTDI Outlet. And I will be your host for today. So today, we will be listening to a session titled Computer Vision Syndrome and 9 Interesting Eye Health Tips. So, before we start, I would like to introduce our speaker for today. Our speaker today name is Dylan Mohchin Yang. He is a graduated with a Bachelor of Optometry with honors from University College Sedaya International, UCSI. He is a registered optometrist in Optimax Eye Specialist Center and a passionate in bringing eye health awareness to the public. He has been active in hosting various kinds of eye health seminars, corporate talks, and events to the communities. So without further delay, I would like to invite our speaker, Dylan, to share about today's topic. So if you guys have any question regarding today's topic, you may type in our chat box below. Your question will be answered in the end of the session. Okay, Dylan, the floor is yours. All right. Hi, Namila. And thank you so much, thank Namila, you. for like uh, having a simple introduction uh, having me. La. me la. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's enter the topic okay. for, so today. Enter the topic for today. All right. We go we're going to share regarding computer vision syndrome and nine interesting I have tips. So first and foremost, let me have a simple introduction again. I'm Dylan, the automatrice from Optimax Eye Specialist. All right. So, okay. Let's enter the next slide. Okay. So, as I, what I mentioned just now, our topic for today is computer vision syndrome and nine interesting IR tip. And the talk, I will try to make it short and sweet, around 30 minutes. So, if you guys do have any questions, want to ask regarding I, feel free to comment on the sections. Okay. Do let me know and I will answer it later after I've done my life. Lah. All right. Okay. So uh, before I start my slide, so uh, most of people, they may be wondering what kind of service we Optimax to offer. So besides an offer LASIK service, right, we also do provide like fire checkup to the public, as well as including the elderly, the teenagers, as well as the kids as well. All right. So after that, LASIK, look, as what we say, the refractive surgery, red smile, phantom LASIK, and then for those who cannot undergo LASIK, they may consider for ICL. So for elderly, they also may get like blurred vision in future. So we also do have cataract service. And then for those who are having like uh, internal part, the eye issue, we also do provide those kind of services as well. Basically, in overall, we, pro we do provide service uh, from the front part of the eye until the back part, the deepest of the eye. Lah. All right. So last but not least, we also do provide for those those kids, right, they do have having high power and then their parents want to control for their power, right? We also do provide those kind of management. So if you want to know more regarding this, feel free to comment on the section below. Lah. I will answer it later. All right. Okay, let's enter the topic for today. But before I enter, let me have a simple introduction regarding I first so we can have more imaginations regarding what's going on to be happened. Okay, so this is our I. Okay, so the one that I circle is cornea, is where we play the contents on and where we do the LASIK to achieve glasses free. And then here we go is the lens, the middle one, the thicker one. This lens, right, is having a very powerful mechanism. It can let you see distance and clear at the same time. Okay, so imagine, right, sometimes we dry 
we need to look at the far, but sometimes we need to look at the phone, right? Okay, we need to look at the phone, right? So this is normally how the lens works. So we can see the things clear and sharp because the lens it can be become thinner and thicker. Okay, based on the focus, based on the distance. All right. So last part will be our retina layer. Retina layer. So when the light right fall on this retina layer, especially on this yellow spot, you can see the image very right, clear and sharp. But if the image right, the light is not falling on this retina or this yellow spot, right? You cannot see the image clear. Okay. All right. So here we go. A lot of people may be wondering, okay, why are we having like short sightedness, long sightedness? Also do have the estimation, also known as si lao la. We also do know it as like jing si, yuan shi, and san guang. Okay, like rabun jiao, rabun dekat, dan itu rabun, uh, uh, sorry, itu si lao la. So what, why is will be happen is because every individual like me, like Nabila, and all the team of 20TB, also including like Optimax staff, also the work, the people around the world, right? We do have different size and different length of eyeball. And this makes us special why we having different power. Okay. Some people they may not need glasses, then they can see the world very clearly, but some may need glasses to see the world clearly. It's because the light ray, right? It cannot fall on this yellow spot. So that's why we need like glasses, contact lens, or LASIK surgery to let us see the world clearly without glasses. Nah? Okay, so this is what we call the short sightedness. It's because our eyeball longer than usual, so that's why the light cannot fall on this retina layer. So in the meanwhile, this is what we call long sightedness. It's because your eyeball is too short. The light ray, right, it has to be fall behind of it. So that's why you can see things clearly. Okay, so last but not least, it will be the estimism, si lao san guang lah. Okay, it's because your cornea, right, it's not smooth as usual. There are a lot of like holes, a lot of lubang, yeah, on the cornea. So when the light ray, right, come in, they cannot only just fall on the same part of the of the retina. They fall on several parts. So that's why you will see duplicate image. Yeah, that's what makes like those people suffer from estimism, right? They feel very difficult to dry at night time. Okay. All right. So a lot of people they also may ask, uh, this kind of service, this kind of eye disease, right? Is it able to settle by LASIK? Yes, it can be settled all in one. All right. Okay. So let's enter the topic for today, CVS, also known as computer vision syndrome. All right. So let me have a simple um, questions. Do anyone over here do hurt regarding CVS before? If you do hurt CVS before, right, do let me know in the comment sections. If you do uh do expo or do experience or do know regarding this, just let me know by uh typing the plus one. Okay. If not, also never mind, I will explain later. Lah. Okay. So CVI basically is like an eye disease caused by the eye. Lah, okay? It's because when you use a computer too frequently, right, then it may be causing a disease to the eye. Okay, So also known as a eye problem caused by the computer use. All right. So based on the American Automatic Associations, right, there are research, research saying that we human, as long as we use computer uh, or like smartphone, right, as long as more than two hours, then we can be categorized as the CVS syndrome. Lah. Okay. So if you do use like a PC handphone more than two hours, you may get CVS. But seriously, is that two, two hours? It's like you are just scoring the handphone wherever you are lying on the bed, right? They are already two hours. But we use a PC like at the daytime for work already eight hours. But is that mean that everyone else to have CVS? Actually, it depends. So it depends on whether you have the symptom or not. Lah. Okay. All right. So the first symptom for CVS, right? You'll be eye strength. So what does it mean by eye strength? Eye strength is like your eye muscle, right? It's too over overloaded. It's too stressed. So that's why it's causing you will be will be the will have the headache. Lah. Okay. So why it will be happen is like this. Imagine, right? We using our eye, look at a PC without rest or without going to washroom, without giving a break, right? At this distance, fixed for around like one hour, right? Then our eye muscle, maybe you don't feel anything at all. Maybe you just feel like, oh, my eyes are a bit dry, but actually it is one of the symptoms already. Let me have a simple or even more uh, layman term uh, example. Like if you go to gym, you keep on training on, the, on your bicep every day. Day, 24 hours 
your bicep also will feel pain, right? Because it's the muscle, it's made of tissue, right? Same goes for our eye muscle, it also will be pain. So that's why when we are too focused on doing one thing, right? To focus on doing one thing right then it may lead to eye strain as well because the change of focus doesn't so frequent all right so when we are too focused on doing a work right it also may uh causing us to having a less amount of blinking like normally right we as human if we're not using pc or not using handphone or just like normal normal lah, we will just blink our eye around 12 to 15 times per minute but when we are very focused on doing one thing right we just blink Half of it only. Half of it only, which is like around six to seven times, six to eight times only. Yeah. Because of this half of the blinking, right? So it induced the dry eye law. Yeah. This is also one of the reasons. Lah. Okay. So do remember to blink your eye whenever you are focused on doing one thing. Lah. Okay. All right. So the things that can make CBS even worse is the computer screen contrast. Whether if you contrast it's like when you are working in a very light environment, but the screen, the PC screen is very dim, also may causing CBS as well because you need to let your eye muscle as well as your lens to work harder to focus on the on the letters and the wording as well. Lah. Okay. Followed by that, you will be not wearing glasses because if you do have the power, you do need glasses to see the world clearly. But if you intend to want to wear it, then it may causing CBS as well because you need to focus more on the wording, which is need which means you need to pay more attention on the wording lah, okay and then uh, followed by that will be wrong power positions lah. if you're having a like negative 5 500 power by just wearing like 200 power which means that you need extra 300 to focus so which is also causing an effort for you to focus on it as well okay and then for those who are like around late 30 or early 40 right they may start to develop low far which is what we also known as press by our PLA. It's a weakening of our of, of our eye muscle. Lah. So this is also one of the reasons may causing CBS as well because you only can see distance very clear, but when you look at uh, the the clear uh, the nearer object, right, you may need to uh, need more uh, adaptation, also need more effort on it. Lah. All right. So, okay. In, in short, lah, the symptom and the things you may experience if you do have CBS will be blurred visions, especially on distant and near. Okay, double visions because like if you like too focus on doing one thing right at distance of on or the or the near object right, too long hour then you suddenly change of focus also may causing double vision as well. Dry and redness is because that like, your eyes is tend to be less blinking and then the tears is not enough. Okay, eye irritations headache as well as the neck and back pain but why neck and back pain will be including in severe symptom is because of our sitting posture all right so okay this will be our ideal positions for looking at the pc okay your hand need to be straight uh need to be on on, on same line with the table and then form a 90 degree and then the screen have to be around the, uh, around the same eye level lah. And then your leg and then the posture you sit had to be straight but this is too formal right this is very formal right looks like a robot but we are human you know we we like to comfort we like to lie down make us comfort but we are also knowing that lah, okay so we just keep on practice on these uh idea positions so not i not 100 have to be copy on me but at least we try to maintain this posture time by time lah, okay all right, followed by the posture, right? We also need to uh, take care regarding the surrounding, like cut the glare. If you like folding, you are in a very, very bright environment and then you are finding hard to looking the things, right? Try to go into uh, those areas who are providing the normal lightning, lah, okay? As long as you are in a comfort lightning, then should be okay. Like what I say, rearrange the desk positions to make sure you are in the ideal positions. And then last but not least, giving your eye a break also trains your settings for your computer all right how to say give a break for your eye so normally as us optometrists we also will recommend uh, recommended patients to practice 20 20 20 rule so what does it mean by 20 20 20 rule it will be like this okay whenever you are using your pc or your phone for 20 minutes or even your reading just uh 20 minutes of like eye work no matter it's 
uh, driving, uh, using PC or using handphone, anything, 20 minutes, just give yourself a break, rest for 20 seconds, rest for 20 seconds, maybe just close your eyes or maybe you, just, you can just look at the distant things to make yourself more comfort, to let the eye master having the adaptation period for that. Okay, so that will be the things that we can be practiced time by time. With this kind of practice, right, it can make your eye muscle even stronger as well as can be delayed the uh, press biopia as well, also low far. La. Because low far, everyone will get it one, just that the period of time only. Some people, they may get it around late of 30 or maybe some, they may be like 70, they just get the press biopia. So depends on the lifestyle you practice, all right? Okay, change your setting, adjust the brightness or front sign. As long as you are comfort to read, as long as you are comfort to see, then it should be okay. Lah. All right, so okay, this will be a summarize for how we can avoid the eye strength. So, yeah, eye exercise, look up, down, left, right, proper lightning, and make sure your computer is in a very clear and uh, uh, and a very sharp conditions. Lah. Try to make it as sharp as possible. Don't don't let the screen like very dirty at all. Okay, adjust the distance. Make it comfort around 40 to 70, 76 cm. Glare reducing. Make sure you are using a PC or your phone under a normal lightning. And then from make sure you are reading it at a normal and comfort distance. Uh, comfort reading size lah. Frequent blink your eyes. Yes. Okay. Whenever you feel your eyes dry, right? Just try to blink, blink. Bling, and then you may feel much more comfortable to let the tears re re um how to say re reform again okay reform again and then glasses wearing okay if you do have power all right so okay nine interesting i have tip that you can be practice to practice to uh having a very good visions all right i really worry regarding the the slide will be all the time so i keep on looking at the time okay all right so do let me know if you do have any questions feel free to ask in the comment sections okay so not interesting i have it first thing first eat a lot of food and vegetables so this is the things that we uh like automatrice also as parents like to mention you are need to eat a lot of foods huh? so later right you don't need to wear glasses but actually it's true Okay, it's true. Okay, because in the fruit, right, it do contain very high antioxidants. It can prevent our eyes for aging. Also good for our eye. Okay, so you can consume food like the, those contain like beta carotenes, lutein, and zeaxanthin because they are very strong antioxidants that can prevent our eyes for aging. So in our um optometries and uh, automatry and eye care industry, right? We do have a disease, which is what we call AMD, okay? Age-rated macular degenerations, okay? It's a degeneration of the yellow spot, or just now what I mentioned on the retina layer. When the spot is start to be like degenerate, right? The things that you can see is going to be reduced and the sharpness and everything is going to be reduced because of this yellow spot start to uh, degenerate. Okay, so that's why we also advise patients to eat healthy, also eat a lot of fruits that can contain like this kind of ingredient. Lah. Okay, so you can find this uh, ingredient from carrots, spinach, also from sweet potatoes. All right, so followed by that, which is our always superhero vitamin, which is vitamin C. Okay, uh, the immune booster. Lah. Okay, so you can get it from broccoli, also from those very common food. Lah. Okay, like orange and so on. But... Last but not least, in the food industry, what you can consume, which is bad for, uh, which is good for eye, will be the omega three fat. Okay, because when we talk about omega omega three, right, we can first rate, uh, we will we will be first relate to the salmon. Okay, salmon. Okay, why the omega three so important to our eye? So for those patients who are, uh, suffer from dry eye, right, for our tears. We not only having like just water, also protein. We also do need the fat, so to prevent the uh, tears to be over over evaporated. So that's the function of the omega three lah. Also, omega three can be prevent for the uh, not to say prevent, slow down the aging process lah. Okay, so you can get it for salmon and sardine, also from the supplements. All right. So for those who are wearing contact lens, right, try to not. Uh, try to wear within 8 hours, not more than that, because 
when we are wearing our contactless more than eight hours, right, our eyes tend to be dry, irritating, and start to be get redness. And then at the same time, right, wearing contactless also may causing risk of infections if you don't clean it properly. Okay, so to make sure if you are contactless wearer, try to uh make sure the hygiene. And then if you do need it, wear do need to wear like mostly one day need to around 12 hours right you may consider daily contact lens actually which is like more convenient wherever you feel your eyes dry or when the event is already finished then you can throw the contact lens okay yeah all right so if you do feel your eyes dry just put on the artificial eye eye drop for uh, comfort lah. all right so use cucumber on your eyelid for uh comfort also just like giving your eye a eye mask lah to comfort your eye, okay, wearing UV protecting glasses when you are going out, okay, so a lot of people, they may, they may wondering, hey, what, when I get aging, right, why my vision is getting worse, is because, sometimes because of your lens, is that your eyes is start to aging, is because of the press barbia low fat, another reason will be the cataract, which also known as the pine zang lah, okay, in Malay also known as cat cataract, okay, so, this kind of disease, right, mainly is due to aging of your lens. Also, they also uh one of the reasons they may they may speed up the speed of the uh cataract will be the UV exposure, especially when you are going up in this hot weather. Okay, we also will advise patients to wear the sunglasses like, because it makes your eyes more comfort to see the things, so it can be delayed the cataract as well. Okay, all right. So Try not to spend so much time looking at the computer screen. So as what I said just now, when we are trying to focus on one thing, we tend to be less blinking. Like me right now, I focus on the screen and talk, right? You will see my, eye, my eyes will be tend to be less blinking. So I need to force myself to blink my eyes sometimes. Okay. So yes, try to uh, reduce the time that you need to look at the computer screen and remember to take some break in between. Okay. And then wear gorgeous when you need it. For those who are working in like, industry area so we we'll advise them to wear the gorgeous to prevent for the uh, chemical or physical industry uh, injury sorry okay exercise your eye to be make sure it's always in a healthy conditions look up down left right to comfort your eye okay do not read in the dim light because it may causing the eye shrink okay and then try to avoid rubbing your eye la, because it may induce infections okay so as what i mentioned just now is uh, what we can practice when we are in home. But what we can be uh, practice every year is just a simple eye check, which is a full comprehensive eye check. Like normally we will go for the body checkup to check our heart, our body, whether it's in the healthy and peak conditions or not. But for our eyes, rarely we will have people go and check for a full eye examination. Normally they, they will just feel that, oh, I might feel that my, my vision is a bit not so clear. I will just go to the optical shop to go for the uh power uh power check to check whether am i need to uh need to change a new glasses or not but in optimax we no normally we will advise patient to come for yellow checkup to check on the nerve conditions also to check on everything whether you are in a risk or not like what i mentioned just now the most popular disease in malaysia also in mobile in mobile right will be the glaucoma Okay, like our heart, right? We also do have our heart pressure. Also do have hypertension, uh, like uh, correction. Also do have the hybrid pressure and so on. Those kind of things, right, is because of the pressure. But how about eyes? Our eyes, right, also will having like stroke. Also will having like high pressure at all. So if the eyes, right, they are suffer from too high pressure, right, it may causing you to lose your visions. So that's why we always advise the patient to come for yearly checkup to check whether you are, you are in the risk or not. Because when the pressure is too high, right, it may get you a sudden attack. It, it, it may just like very sudden, like one second uh, uh, be, uh, before you are just like just a normal conditions. But maybe after that, after a few seconds, your eyes will be, your pressure will be leaking, will be uh, get higher. So that's the things that we always need to need the uh, patients to always monitor their eye so just came for a eye check before lah. eye check before you can know regarding your eye conditions though okay so as what i mentioned we will check on your visions we will check on your power check on muscle condition check your eye pressure 
Also, we'll check on your lens condition and so on. Also, we'll check on whether you are suitable for LASIK or not. Lah. Okay, and so on. Okay, including consultation. And this will be done by optometrists like me. If we do found any abnormality, we will pass to our ophthalmologist for more information lah, to check whether you need any treatment or, at all. Okay, so in today, right, we also do offer a package to 20 TB patients. So not the full eye right normally will be 195 ringgit. But today, uh, as long as you are joining this live, you may enjoy the uh, eye check only at 100 ringgit only. Okay, and if you are interested, feel free to screenshot this post and then show to our rejections in Optimax. Then you may enjoy the promotions. Lah. And then this eye check, right, it will be done by automatrix like me. Okay, all right. So the branches that you may visit, right? We do have thirteen branches in Malaysia. So in Klangmarie, we do have the uh, we do have five branch. Main branch will be at TTDI, Sunway, Shah Alam, Klang, and then uh, Sunway. Okay. So uh, we also do have branch at Northern like Ipoh and Penang, Southern like JB, and so on. Also do have branch as the East Malaysia, which is Sarawak. Okay, all right. So if you do plan to having LASIK in future, right, this will be the image, okay? You will be the one that lying on the bed and your doctor will be in front of you to help you correct your visions and get glasses free, okay? So if you do have any questions regarding eye disease, LASIK, feel free to ask. Or if you like very shy, don't want to uh, ask the questions over here, right? You also can DM our page as well, our Instagram, our Facebook, and our customer care will reply you as soon as possible. Lah. Okay. All right. Let me see. We do have any questions. Okay. Uh, okay. How can patients, how can parents know when should we consult? you on the children i check sometimes children don't tell all right okay how we can know that pay uh our kids right to having like you know uh short sentences or long sentences it depends on the habits okay so imagine i'm the kids now i'm using ipad to learning okay if you do found that the patients right always look at the screen and then right it start to be like feeling irritating of the eye start to rub the eye right this is also one of the reason of the patients may be having discomfort also may having cbs ah. this is one of the symptoms and then the next thing will be in the school okay when we are when we are in the physical school right uh kids tend to be seen row by row if the if the kids like seeing at behind right then it start you found it like very difficult to look at the screen, look at the uh, whiteboard or blackboard, right? Then it may indicate that maybe the kids need some eye check and need a glasses already, though. Okay. So normally, right, uh, for kids eye check is a bit different with like adult eye check lah. So if you wish to have bring your kids to our center for eye check, feel free to go. Feel free to go to any of our branches out. But we are more like apartment basis. Okay. So uh, what we can do as a parents is just that to notice the habits and the lifestyle that our kids practice. Okay. So to knowing that whether uh, they are in the risk or not, if you are very worried regarding whether your kids are uh, having any eye disease or any uh, shortness, short sadness or not, just bring to our center for eye check. Lah. Okay. The price also will be same. It will be 195 ringgit. Lo. Okay. 195 ringgit. But the voucher, it cannot be deducted for the kids. I checked that mostly the 100 ringgit is for the adults, but for the kids, we will remain as 195. Lo. Just let me know if you want to having our kids. I check and then our customer care will contact you. La, or you can also DM our page. Okay. Is I check procedure painful and invasive? Yes, it is. I check, right? We rarely, we wouldn't use like knives or laser to touch your eye. It's just a spread surface. I check only. So basically, you won't feel nothing at all. You feel nothing at all. You will feel pain and invasive. Lah. But if you're doing LASIK, right? Uh, also can be said it will be uh, no pain. Also, uh, no invasive because now the LASIK treatment, right? Uh, is already right at once like previously you need to take around like one month or two months for recovery but now even one to three days also can recover already lah. okay where speed recovery also the opening right where where we doing the cornea uh reshape conditions right also very small only previously i maybe need to remove like 
a lot but now only need to remove a bit only lah okay depends on the treatment you want to do so so far in ultimax right we do provide four kind of lasik the latest one will be relaxed mouth which is the opening just three to four mm which is pretty small and then uh next one will be pento lasik also known as a second generation of lasik lah okay that one will be opening around 28 28 mm and then followed by that will be the most uh our first LASIK, gen first generation LASIK uh, will be ASA. That one, right, it will be takes around one month for recovery. Uh. So the next now will be our third generation of LASIK. It's the latest one, look. No? Okay. All right. Let me see the chat box. Okay. So if you want to uh, whether to check whether uh, you are eligible for LASIK or not, you can come to our center and then having a print screen regarding this print screen regarding this so you may enjoy the promotions though and this voucher right it may be end on end of the uh march lah so you can enjoy this promotion lo. Mm. so feel free to let me know if you do have any questions okay am i speak too fast uh if you found that i speak too fast right you may ask the questions as below then i may can i can answer you as well lah, because i worry if i speak too slow right it's going to be uh any relate <laughs> okay feel free to let me know if you do have any questions at all okay yum yum 3 30 <laughs> i can end <laughs> the presentation uh, presentations okay all right Nabila, is no, no, you need to speak too fast. So we just only have two questions for today. So I think, um, thank you, Dylan, for your informative sharing. So I believe all of our audience now know more about the eye syndrome, and maybe they can apply their eye health tips just now in the daily basis, right? Yes, yeah, you can practice like yeah. uh, what I say, mm -hmm. which is like 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. When yeah. you feel you're uh, well, giving a light, uh -huh. mm. okay. practice 2020 lah, will be much more better. Be also, much remember better. to blink your also eye. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. So let's say if you guys have any more questions, just in case after the live session, and you just can leave it in the chat box in the comments, and we will answer in the comments below. All right. Okay, Dylan. That's all. Mm. Yes, that's all. Okay. all right, Thank you, Nabila. Thank you, Nabila, for all hosting right, this event. Mm, okay, no problem. Okay. So, thank you so all much right. for your attention. Yeah, Happy New Year, Dylan. Happy, Happy holiday, New Year, everyone. Year. Yes, also, do yes. inform everyone. everyone. We were having a next live on February. Yep. Talk we about the... Mm. What? Talk about what? the listening fatigue, fatigue right? Yeah, we will yeah. have a few live questions, so stay tuned. Yes. All right, thank you everyone. Take care, stay safe. Bye.